Hi guys in another video by MTech Pro. Today we will talk about everything you need to know of Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. A new leak has revealed the specs for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and what looks to be official marketing images of the upcoming flagship phone. WinFutures Roland Quan posted a suite of images for the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and revealed a plethora of details around the phone's chipset, storage, display, cameras and more. If these leaks are to be believed, then the Galaxy S21 Ultra will be a solid upgrade over the Galaxy S20 Ultra. In keeping with what the other leaks and renders have revealed so far, the front of the Galaxy S21 Ultra looks much like the Galaxy S20 Ultra, only Samsung will drop the latter's curved edges in favor of a flatter design. According to the leak specs, the S21 Ultra 6.8-inch display will sport a 3200x1440 resolution and come with a 120Hz refresh rate display, all protected by 7th generation Gorilla Glass Victus. So, speaking of power, Quant's leak says that the Galaxy S21 Ultra will come with Samsung's Exynos 2100 chip in Europe and the Snapdragon 888 in the US. Both chips are expected to deliver better performance and more energy efficiency, as they're based on new 5 nanometer process node. So the S21 Ultra could last longer than its predecessor. The Octa-Core Exynos 2100 is tipped to run up to 2.9 GHz, which should give the Galaxy S21 Ultra a hefty dose of performance when it comes to multitasking and running demanding games. Backing up the chip is 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of onboard storage. There's no mention of whether this will be expandable through a Micros card. So, head round to the back of the Galaxy S21 Ultra you'll notice its biggest change, the quad cameras. The main camera has a 108 megapixel lens that's apparently an upgrade on the S20 Ultras, and that's supported by a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 10 megapix 3x telephoto camera, and a 10 megapix telephoto lens, capable of a 10x hybrid zoom. This camera's setup looks set to deliver some impressive standard and zoomed in shots. It's not clear whether the 100x space zoom of the Galaxy S20 Ultra will make it over to the S21 Ultra, as the feature was dropped in the Note 20 Ultra. The rear camera array will be supported by LED flash and laser autofocus. We're hoping the latter will deliver better autofocus than the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is tipped to come with the same 5000 mAh battery as its predecessor. On the charging front, the S21 Ultra can be charged quickly via 45 watt charging, but it likely will be optional. Overall, it looks like Samsung is going for evolution and not revolution with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Given how impressive the Galaxy S20 Ultra was, that's not a bad thing. One could argue Samsung might be playing it a little safe. Slated for a January 14 reveal and availability at the end of the month, we'll soon see whether the Galaxy S21 Ultra will be the best phones of 2021. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to support us by like and subscribe and share, see you in another video.